Turning to our nominee, Madam Secretary, you have a few challenges in gaining the support for your nomination. First, some of your friends have made it clear that they think you'll be a shadow secretary when the role deputy secretary is really that of chief operating officer. Your friends may have thought they were helping you, but some of what they've said raises some real questions. So Secretary Sue, we discussed yesterday in my office. So I, I, I hope you can convince the committee that you understand the job you've been nominated for. I also hope you can demonstrate that you aren't aiming to drag Mayor Walsh away from what I think is a sensible agenda he committed to pursuing when he sat right where you sit today in his confirmation uh, hearing. Second, more importantly, I'm even more concerned about the failures and fraud in California's unemployment insurance. California suffered some of the largest fraud in our nation's history during the pandemic. Over 11 billion and perhaps as high as 30 billion in fraud occurred in California's unemployment system. Even death row inmates received unemployment checks. I'm sure there's a reasonable debate to be had about the death penalty, but I can't imagine one that involves paying people on death row for being unemployed. What's worse about the fraud committed on California and the U.S. taxpayer is that it was entirely preventable. It's my understanding that an auditor made a series of recommendations just as you took office, specifically recommending that California exclude sensitive information, including Social Security numbers, from its identification system. But nothing changed. In fact, when the fraud was ramping up and billions being stolen from taxpayers, California actually made things worse. You ordered the agency to eliminate some important safeguards to speed up payments, which led to even more fraud. Additionally, the people waited months for their benefit and a state audit showed that call centers only answered 1% of their calls. These are operational failures of extreme proportion. What's worse is that California's received hundreds of millions a year, every year over the past decade in federal funds for administration of their uh, unemployment system, but no changes or improvements to those systems were made. It's not Washington's fault that California system uh, still uses uh, COBOL. You'd think with all those tech companies still in Silicon Valley that one or two of them would have been able to pr provide new technology and new systems. As we discussed yesterday, it's true that all states struggled, but California struggle, uh, struggles uh, swamp everyone else. And none of their secretaries of labor are here today seeking a promotion. So while you may not personally be responsible for every case of fraud that happened, the fraud did happen under your watch. So please help this committee understand why, it's, why that is an experience the Senate should reward with a promotion. I'll keep an open mind as we go through this hearing and I appreciate your willingness to discuss these issues with me and with the committee today. I thank the chair. Thank you, ranking member.